Scene one, Apple, take two. <laughs> I'd expect those rocket races to be a whole lot harder than they are. I mean, I remember playing, um, oh, what the hell was the car combat game? It wasn't Twisted Metal, it was the other one for the Xbox. Full Auto? I think it was called Full Auto. I mean, that game was hard as balls. Kind of annoying at the same time. You'll find everything you need, Sparky. Yes, I will find everything I need at Spanky's. Take your time. We're going to go with heavy armor. And eventually we'll probably get the spiked performance and the uh, boost as well. Good day to you. Indeed. That entirely depends, though, on how uh, well the monarch actually is. Abandoned distillery. Infiltrate power plant. Price of power is already there. They're alright, so we're good to go. Let's head out and take the Monarch and see what kind of, uh, how amazing it actually is. That looks pretty tough, but it also looks like, look at the windshield on that thing. How the hell can you even see shit out the front of that thing? Are you kidding me? It's a little two inch gap. That would drive me insane. That would absolutely drive me up a wall. The pulse cannon. And of course, it auto selects what I don't want. Whoa, hey. Dumbass. Definitely not that fast, it's because it's heavy as shit. <laughs> Just run right into it. Boom. are a bunch of dumbasses. They do not know the first thing to car combat. This car is definitely tough, I can see that. Plus I already got the heavy armor upgrade to it, so it's not like... Whoa, who's firing? Who's dumb? Who needs to be rammed? Hell, ramming that shit causes more damage than the actual act of car combat. Look at the, look at that! Look at the little slit thing there. You, I wouldn't be able to see shit out of this car. It looks nasty, but it doesn't move for shit. That's why I was able to beat the guy so fucking easily. My Caprino with that V10, the boost, is way faster. <laughs> this guy's supposed to be watching guard duty. See if he can watch this grenade. You see that, dude? Oh, you saw that time. <laughs> That was great.
That was great indeed. I'll be bringing the Pop Rocks for the attitude adjustment. Just the game plan. Here's the plan. You go left, I go right. And we pinch him in the middle. And they do so, and I shoot a grenade at him, and then they blow up into nice fine rest red mist particles. It's like, oh well, at least we tried. What would give you that idea? Oh yay! I'm gonna steal your clipboard. So what are exactly we're supposed to be doing here? Supposed to be shooting that or not? I don't think so. Definitely not gonna walk across it. That'd probably be instant death. Can't see anything over here. Yeah. All right, there we go. I see you too. Trust me, that's not good. All right, they just turned it off. That was kind of weird. <laughs> that was strange. They just kind of turned it off. I'm looking for an off switch, and they just kind of, all right, let's go in. They had a whole lot of, it's okay, we got this. Nice. I'm sure it's perfectly safe up here. Oh, wait, there is something over here. Turret barrel, even though I never use turrets. Oh, we had a blowout. Consider this warning. You should leave when you can. I control the power around here. There will be no negotiating. I'm sure there will be plenty of room for negotiation. You just don't like the terms, though. I have a very specific list of uh, terms and conditions, and uh, my shotgun here is going to guarantee that you accept them. Alright, I hear something mechanical. Sure, the door is gonna slam shut spontaneously. Ooh, what we got? We got online poker. Someone's playing their online poker guard game here when they're supposed to be watching out. You notice? Okay, I got the thing for your big guys. <laughs> These pop rocks are nasty.
I don't think I sold anything after going through the gearheads hideout the first time through. I think I'm all loaded up on junk. Pop rocks, you can make another set of those. Fat mamas. Ooh, lock grinders, we definitely like the lock grinders.